Hello and welcome to my newest LP. Let's play... Well, I'm not gonna tell you yet because that'd just be too easy and Paper Mario guy's been dying to know what it is and I'm not gonna tell him until he actually sees the title. I took special precautions to make sure that he did, did not know until he saw the title of the game on screen. I don't know why. I just felt like making things unnecessarily complicated. Um, so anyway, once you see this title, I don't want you to be discouraged because it's completely different from what you think it's going to be. Yes, Capcom, we all know what it is now, don't we? Um, yes, Mega Man Network Transmission, and a lot of people have never heard of this game or just assume the worst of this game. This is not a puzzle game or whatever you'd like to call it, what those Game Boy Advance games are. This is a platforming game. You only play as Mega Man. If I had to describe this game in one sentence, I'd say it's a classic Mega Man game with the characters and complexity of a Mega Man Battle Network game. So, uh, let's just try it out. Oh, and if you like Japanese voice acting, I would mute your speakers right now. I'm not gonna talk during this. And so, thanks to me and Mega Man, the ambitions of the triple... No, 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 what is, what is it called? The World 3 were shattered. Life was peaceful again one month later. Uh, so that was just a recap of the ending of Mega Man Battle Network 1, if you've played it. Um, you know, you could just read this, because it's not all that interesting. I'm gonna probably do voice acting eventually. But I really want to get to the gameplay, because I just really want to show that off. Because it is, it's very, uh... It is quite um, interesting, and even I'd, I'd even go so far as to say innovative. Yo, Lan, are you working on your antivirus? Okay, shut up. No. All right. Uh, this guy is getting an antivirus thing. All right. This guy—it's a sale. He's just telling you about his new sale at the store. Uh, news. This is fairly important. Damage of the new type of virus known as the Zero Virus is spreading. The Zero Virus infects navvies instead of electronic devices, and adversely affects their functions. No effective vaccine is available yet. So the only possible response to an infection is to turn off your PET. Alright, and this is the most important of all. Because it's going to be a whole first level. Uh, Lan, have you been to the net lately? I sent Roll on an errand this morning, but I guess she got lost somewhere. She's really late. Aren't you supposed to be, like, constantly operating her, though? If you see Roll on the net, tell her to hurry home, please. Yes, will do. Okay. So Lan, just looking for an excuse to not do his homework, he's gonna go jack in and save her. Same thing as how all the Mega Man Battle Network games start off, pretty much. Or all the ones I've played, which is only, like, two. Um, you, he just finds an excuse to go online. So anyway, talk, you can, um... Oh, where do I begin? There's so much stuff to explain. You don't play as Lan in this game, um, which I think is good because I never really saw much of a purpose to running around as a human, just doing pointless stuff. Uh, email, you just, you know, read your email messages. Um, tells This tells you what to do next, if I didn't already say that. Um, folder is where you look at all your battle chips, and battle chips, um, the way they did that in, in, in this game is just really neat. I really like that. Uh, I just really like the gameplay of this game. Um, this is basically items, uh, map is where you can jack in, I'm about to use that, uh, Mega Man, you can power up, um, different things with his buster, and you can give him different kinds of armor, uh, keys, uh, you, you'll never really look at that, library, shows you the chips you have, but you'll never really want to look at that, unless you're trying to get all the chips, and you want to see, like, which ones you've got, uh, items, um, that's basically, like, a hit, like, it'd be the Internet Explorer, uh, equivalent of like history it shows you the items that you've like got recently like it's really pointless uh, Jack out you use it to you know jack out when you're Mega Man um, 
control, you just change the controls and save, which, take note, you can only save while, um, playing as, uh, oh god, no data, alright, um, oh, this is, this is my other memory card, that's why, my Ocarina of Time memory card, um, for the whole try-up thing, but you can only save while you're as land, so once you jack in, you cannot save until you jack back out, so if you're gonna get a game over, I would recommend jacking out. Oh my god, jacking out. It's, it's already getting annoying, because I feel like I'm saying jacking off. Oh well. Um, from the map, you can choose different places to jack in from, and um, you'll unlock new points to jack in from as the game progresses and stuff like that, and, and all of it connects, or most of it anyway. Um, so basically, what we have here is a 2D platform shooter, like the old Mega Man games, except in Mega Man Battle Network form. As soon as you jack in, you'll get this menu, which it'll basically take five random battleships from your uh, from your folder, I guess it's called. And you, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no like letter code like there is in like the regular games for the Game Boy Advance. So you can pick whatever amount that you want. Um, you can pick all of them if you want, but if I don't don't pick a certain number, you get that number extra next time you like go to cho you change your uh, chips. For example, if I didn't take this one, see that row on the bottom, one extra battleship would be there next time. Uh, and if I didn't take all of them, I'd get five extra. So that's basically how it works. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just explain all this. Um, B is your buster, but it's so weak right now, it only does like one damage, and these guys I think have like 40 HP, so you'd be there for a while. Whereas this thing, as you can see, has 40 attack power. If you look at the bottom, um, hold on, uh, if you look at the bottom, it'll show you the chips that you have, it'll show you the current chip you're using, it'll show you how much damage it does, and all that good stuff. If you look at the top left, you'll see an icon of the chip that you're using. And the number shows you how many of that chip you have. Now, see that uh, yellow bar? That's our health, and lives below at the number, obviously. Um, if you, oh, okay, here we go. How do you, do you understand how to use chips? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, okay, this thing is a, mis a mystery data. It's green, which means every time you jack out and jack back in, it'll be here. Um, and, and they'll have like kind of useless or not so good items because they come back every time If it's a blue data cube, it'll have something good because it'll only appear once and it'll never come back This is basically a locked door. It's what we're gonna need those keys for that I was telling you about earlier or showing you on the menu um, There we go, so platforming and if you kill an, a certain enemy fast enough and it drops a chip you'll get that chip and um, If you get a chip uh, each time the first time, uh, <laughs> oh, if um, the first time you get a chip, you'll unlock that battle chip, and each time you get that same battle chip, you'll get like basically more ammo for it. So the first time I would get this cannon chip, I would be able to use it, and then for each extra one I got, I'd be able to use it an, an additional time. So for example, if I got another cannon chip right now, I'd be able to use six of them, and that's basically how that works. Um, and see that bar at the top, when you press Z when that bar is full, uh, that same screen that appeared when we first jacked in will show up where we can choose our uh, battleships and stuff like that. But just note that the battleships we have equipped right now will go away if we, um, we press Z to choose new ones. Alright, if you press down A, you can slide. Uh, you don't really use it that much, but there are definitely going to be some parts where you're going to need it. If you press X... You can go into standby, standby mode, which is really useful because it just lets you freeze the screen and lets you freely scroll through your chips. It's very useful for, um, especially in like the heat of a boss battle. Boss battles in this game, they can get like pretty intense if you don't know what you're doing. Once you get the feel of the game, they're not so bad. But um, it's just, I, I like this game because it's pretty, it's complicated. Like, there's, it has so much more depth to it than any other Mega Man game I've ever played because it just like, You've got all these different weapons, and by the end of the game, you'll have so many of them, and there's, like, strategy to it. It's not just a platformer. It's just not just a platform shooter. There's strategy to it. If you press up uh, and hold it, or uh, as you pass this thing, you can, you know, do this. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, nothing too difficult. Nice, nice, Lan. Looks like you got your virus-busting sense back. But don't overdo it. Jack out before you lose your last backup, which is a life, basically. Um, and he's gonna make me go through this. Yes, he is, unfortunately. 
Uh, we're already at 10 minutes, but I think I got a lot of explaining done. If you don't understand any of this, just ask me and I'll explain it to you. Um, I'm trying to go over things fairly quickly because I don't want to spend all of this LP just explaining things because I could do that. Like, there's just so much to explain. Uh, one more thing that I don't think I've explained is that green bar. Um, which, even though you have a set number of battleships, you, like, uh, of a certain battleship you can use, like, see, I can use five of this. Um, each time I use it, uh, see that gray part of the green bar? That's like how much it'll use if I, how much it'll consume if I use that battleship. So, it basically prevents you from spamming, uh, a certain battleship. Like, if I had 60 of these, it wouldn't let, I wouldn't be able to use it, all 60 of them at once, because that green bar would run out. So that's basically its purpose. Um, this is a block that you can only destroy with a certain weapon. So I think I'm gonna press Z to see if I can get lucky and get it and I actually did get it I think I think it's the wrecker battle chip um so let's try that out and is it gonna no no it's not the right ship fuck oh my god it's not the bomb one is it nope it is not unfortunately oh well I'll get over it. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it nope uh yeah spike if you just like in the old games or in any game I think touch spikes you die never fun never fun at all um, oh, this part. There's this part. You should definitely memorize this part right now because we're gonna be coming back here. Fuck. No, I, I, no, I don't want. No, does not want. There's so much stuff up there to get, especially once you get the double zone battleship, which is so useful. Oh my god. It's the most useful ship in the game by far. Um, with maybe the exception of a few, like, really powerful moves. But I'm sure you can already tell there's a certain degree of strategy behind this, and eventually you'll power up your uh, your Mega Buster to a point where you won't need to use battleships and you can save them for the boss fights. But as of right now, our Buster is weak as hell, so we're not going to be using it much, if at all. A chip that I really like to use is that cannon I was using at the beginning, because it does 40 damage, but you can carry like a maximum of 30 of them at a time once you get like... Like, um, by collecting chips like these, you add the total number of a certain chip you can carry at a time, but there's a limit to, uh, how many extras you can get. Extras! Uh, Paper Mario Guy and Caboose get the reference. But none of you do, so, yeah. Um, I think, I'm not, uh, you don't have to go this way, but there's a backup chip you can get, which basically adds to the total number of backups that you can, that you start off with. So instead of starting off with uh, one life every time you go in, uh, you jack in, you start, uh, bleh, bleh, bit my tongue, you start with two, so pretty useful overall. Uh, definitely collect those. By the time the game ends, you will have um, nine of them. You should if you collect all of them. But uh, you'll have to do some pretty hardcore exploring, exploring, and you'll have to come back with like double chip, uh, double chip, no, double jump chips, uh, which very useful, lets you collect a lot of, uh, battleships, and I'm probably gonna call them badges multiple times, and you actually did have to go that way, I forgot, cause, uh, you have to get a certain ship, uh, I really don't have many good ships right now, but you just got raped, my bunny friend, and no, boo, I hate these bombs, cause you have to, like, angle them, you could play th through this game without much strategy, but, um, if you want to, like, if you go that extra mile and you really, like, go hardcore and get, like, a certain, like, you, uh, make all of your battleships, like, a certain element in preparation for, like, like, say, this boss I'm about to fight is fire-based. Obviously! I mean, no, he's actually ice-based. He just has a fire background just for shits and giggles. Um, but, uh, if, say, like, we're fighting this guy, you're gonna want to pack up your, uh, folder with aqua-based battleships. But if you wanted to go through the game without using strategy and you're just hardcore like that, you could just use regular chips if you wanted to. You wouldn't have to use uh, aqua-based chips. Uh, that's basically the kind of thing I'm getting at here. Uh, how am I going to get this guy? Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get him with this up close. You have to like slide under that target thing he shoots out at the last second. These guys send shockwaves along the floor. And whatever method of attack a certain enemy uses, um, the battleship that he gives you will have a very similar, like, Use. Uh, this is useless. Uh, this will be okay for like a shooting. I don't want the stone bod! I mean, it makes you invulnerable, but it doesn't let you friggin' move. It's more useless than. Well, no, the stone cap in Paper Mario is very useful. 
especially against people like the Master. You could, like, use the Stone Cap, and I know I'm getting a little off topic here, but you could use the Stone Cap and just have Goombario, like, use his charge and multibomb. Remember this place, because you'll be able to use your double jump a lot to get quite a few things. 